Und mach mal Rekord. Du sich Rekord. Ja. Dann schauen wir jetzt mal. Geh mal auf, auf YouTube, guck mal, ob er, ob er äh, live ist. Scheint so. Ja. Elf Sekunden zurück. Okay, here we go. Oh yes, this seems to work. Um, Okay, I'm going to turn that into really bad quality. Yeah, that's a little bit dark. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, last stream's actually quite fast. So, um... Oh, here we go. We have 32 people. There we go. Everyone's finding it now. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, Gabor and Mo told me that people are hanging around in the live stream. That was a mistake. I wasn't going to do a live stream. I was testing a live stream and I was doing it private, you know, privately in the privacy of my own home. But uh, apparently that went live. Still kind of dark, Robin. Still, Still kind of dark. I think. But what do I know? Hello? Yeah, I, probably. I don't know. Sonst müsste ich auf Ines äh, auf Zeit gehen. Sonst ich bin jetzt am oberen Ende vom vom Game. What the People were testing things. That's what happens. Ah, bist du auf minus sechs? Guck mal da. Ja. Wie gesagt, sonst hätte ich jetzt. Also ja, das macht ja nichts. Nur zusätzlich weiter gehen müssen. Ja, guck mal so. I don't know. So, um, hello. Uh, let's see who we have. We have the Bozo, of course, um, and the Mr. Boomer Bass, and oh my god, who's here? Sub Henning. Uh, Sub Valeria. Um, Gabor. Thank you, Gabor. Uh, for letting me know that people are waiting in the live stream that I never wanted to do. Hey, Walid. Um, okay, now people are coming in. All of a sudden, we got 56 people on a live stream that I was going to do later today. One, once I, <laughs> once I figured out what I was doing. So um, we have several cameras set up. And the whole idea was that uh, Black Magic Design sent me the Atom Mini Pro, and I was going to figure out how to use it. Oh, Quentin's here. Anyone, everyone in, in, in the stream, raise your hand if you want the stream to end because Quentin is here. Hey, Quentin! Love you! <laughs> Antonio is... <laughs> um, so, uh, uh, let me know. Uh, by the way, Quentin has a beautiful Schecter California Shredder in purple. And he has told the world about it, and now I'm telling you about it. This is how much... No, Quentin says, oh dear lord, Quentin, you know, I've told you this last night, that this is correct. You now have to address me as Lord Henning Pauli. Because um, for my birthday, which is next uh, Saturday, um, Michel Poissonnier, who can only be minutes late, uh, has made me a Scottish lord, or a laird. So... Uh, now, everyone that talks to me should please add my lord after saying anything to me. You guys get this? Okay? No? No, you ha I'll turn you for you again. If you'd say anything like, hey, could I have some water? Like you did earlier, you technically should say, can I have some water, my lord? Because I'm officially a Scottish lord. Yep. Yeah. So, um... Just to let you people know, this is official. I own a square foot of castle grounds in Scotland and therefore am a registered Scottish Lord. Just to let everyone know. Le Lord. <laughs> okay, Le Lord then. So, um, I've done a video on the... Uh, no, first of all, no. Let, let's, let's, let's roll this back. Behind this camera right there is Robin who's pushing my buttons. And, 
And um, behind the big ass camera that you can't see because it's a big ass camera uh, is Tonio. But hey, I could do something. I have a small ass camera. Let's do this. Let's let's do the small ass camera. Uh, oh, look look at this. How cute! How cute! Look at this. So there's there's Robin. Ooh, and there's Tonio over there. And we're doing video stuff. So there's a whole big ass setup that I set set up. That's how you set up a setup. You set it up. Um, and we're gonna go through this for those of you who are into the live streaming. Um, we're gonna grab this thing. And technically, I'm also doing a full video explaining this, but it's kind of pointless because now we're doing it. Um... <laughs> Dave! Damn it! <laughs> Dave, damn it. Wait, is it, is it what? 20, I don't have $20. That's not $20, Dave. Fuck it. He's sharing it with Tonio. Dave said 20 bucks for Robin because you're wearing his shirt. <laughs> and now I'm just, <laughs> damn it. Now I'm all cash. Um, <laughs> What about contest results? Shut up about your contest results. I got to listen to 15 hours of songs. Give me time. Um, <laughs> what a live stream set up. The Lord says, well, eat. So um, for those who care, for those of us who really care, anyone get that? No, I can't. Okay, it's, 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 uh, hmm. um, so Black Magic did this thing, 300 bucks and uh, insane. You can switch four HDMI sources. Uh, where, where are we? Is, 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 is this that? It's me. Oh, that's you. OK, good. Uh, yeah, we never positioned the other camera, but it, it, it should be, go to uh, the camera, camera three or whatever. Is that, is that good, Robin? In focus and all that? No. Good. Um, so Blackmagic, uh, Tonio can, can zoom in on this because we have the Zoomy Ini camera. Former Lord, Jonathan. Um, so four video sources. You can use the audio from them. There's actually a full, uh, what's it called? Uh, audio mixer, uh, little pluggies in the back for mics. And there's an HDMI out, which on the normal version can only have the program out or the preview, either or. Program out means whatever is active right now, it will it'll show. It won't show you a multi-view, which is really convenient to see all the different cameras. Um, there's a webcam out. Can you really zoom in on this? Yeah, that's why we have the zoomy cam. So there's a webcam out, which is USB-C, and then your computer will see it as a, USB, uh, uh, as a webcam. And there's a um, network out, which can be used to control it with a computer on a network, and then there's power. The thing that it doesn't have is a headphone out, which really sucks. So this can do most of what my big setup can do. It can do transitions and all that stuff. Robin, want to try a transition? Robin has been thrown in the deep water because he's literally not worked with this. Um, Where's my preview? Where can I do preview stuff? Uh, no, just hit a transition, and now on the next on the next one you do, it should do uh, the transition. Yep. Oh, that's oh. cheesy as fucking hell. Um, so oh, wait a second. Uh, by the way, how is audio, everyone? Can you comment on that? Someone, someone. Uh, uh, that's not. That's about my hedgehog post. Um, yes, there's a hedgehog post. Go and find it. Um, no multi-pass. <laughs> yes, pluggies. I mean, it's technical jargon. Um, so you can do cut and auto transitions. You can do transition. You can do picture in picture. All great. Um, a couple of drawbacks of this. A, you don't have a multi-view. Multi-view. Little dull of multi-view. Which technically... Um, Thank you. 
Oh no, I can't. No, I can't take it off. Damn it! Oh, here. Multipass. Lilu Dallas Multipass. Get it? Hmm? How do I turn off the transition? There's a reason why we are not laughing. <laughs> no, what? Nobody's laughing. Okay, fine then. Um, how do you turn off the transition? Um, by going to cut again, if you just hit cut. Yeah. Ah. And then it should work, technically. Okay. Um, so this is great. This is 300 bucks and it can do most of what my, uh, what my big ass multi thousand dollar system can do. But just right, like in the first couple of weeks of Corona, when streaming became the thing, everyone had to stream. Uh, they came out with a pro version, which clocks in at a little bit over 600 bucks, which really added so many features that it's almost stupid not to spend twice, amount the, uh, twice the amount of money and get the pro versions. Now, the pro version, and we're going to see this in a sec, has a couple more buttons, but everything else that this does, it has. Um, it adds multi-view on the HDMI out. The thing that is here, a webcam out. If you want to stream with this, I still need software. So you know, you guys know streaming software like um, OBS, Wirecast. My streaming software is called Wirecast. The cheapest version of it is 600. What are you guys looking for? For the ISO. It's just very noisy, the camera phone. Uh, I'm, I, gotta, I gotta do things here. I don't know what to do. And now the monitor's off. <laughs> um, ja, yeah, der uh, hat hier die Batterie gewechselt. Um, technically, you do the shutter. Shutter, or, uh, well, ISO is again here. Yeah. It's on low, you can go medium. But you, we're on auto, so it actually shouldn't matter. It also gets uh, noisier because you zoomed in that much, uh, which means it's on an F4. So, I think we're good. Um, super noisy. What? Compared. Okay, it's all right. No, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, again, when you zoomed in, it's doing it's doing F4, and then because it's on auto, it has to actually add that much ISO. And literally, we're not adding a lot of light. I'm 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 yeah. I'm not in a very bright spot, and I'm not very bright. Um, so moving on. With this, you need streaming software. The free OBS or what is it called? The you know Wirecast. Amanda's here. What's happening here? Amanda, we're talking about geeky live stream nerdy stuff. You can go and you know not watch that. That's totally fine. Uh, no, nobody's going to be mad at you for skipping this one. Trust me. Um, I mean, then again, you know we love you, but this is boring. Um, so the new one adds, and this is amazing. The USB-C can be hooked up to a USB-C hard drive and you can record on it. Therefore, eliminating the need for an external recorder, which can cost you hundreds. Awesome. You can actually record and not live stream. And with the, uh, what's it called? The Ethernet, you can go into your router directly with this. And you can stream with it directly, without the need for OBS, without the need for Wirecast or any kind of streaming software, which is what we're doing right now. It was a pain in the ass to get that happening. Uh, beautiful transitions, Robin. Um, according to um, Blackmagic Design, you're supposed to be able to co connect directly to your computer with Ethernet, which I did, plugged it in with a, uh, a network cable. And then uh, the ATEM uses your computer's Wi-Fi to hook up to YouTube. That doesn't work. It just doesn't connect. So the way I had to do it is my laptop is in the network. This is in the network now and they see each other in the network. However, once you put in your streaming key, which you need for YouTube, uh, you don't need the laptop anymore unless you want to do some advanced settings. But you could actually just throw the laptop away, you know, take a big dump on it and only use this which is, uh, well, not this, but the other one, which is pretty damn awesome. Um, it adds multi-view, it adds 
recording capability, it adds live streaming right out of the box. So, that's, I wasn't supposed to already, what, Ed, I don't know. Does it gent? No, it does not. Um, now, in all the Black Magic design pictures, it looks so cute. You look at it, it's sitting on the desk, and there's a couple cables that are beautifully, you know, uh, grouped together, and they have a little uh, uh, video assist, little screen that they can record on or, or you monitor on, and that's your whole life set up, and there's a laptop, and that's all good. This is something that we need to talk about because that is not the case. How are you hearing me right now? Anyone want to wanna guess how you're hearing me? Amanda? Boomer? Anyone? How are you hearing me? More star wipes. There actually are no star wipes, and I'm very, very happy about that. Um, Robin right now is looking for uh, the diamond wipe. There's none. Actually, there is one. You have to do it in the software. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bad, Robin. Bad. Um... Pedal show witchcraft. Well, uh, no, no, witchcraft. Uh, yes, no, no, you're not hearing me through witchcraft. You're hearing me through, you have one of these, Gabor. Uh, the XS Wireless, XSW Digital Wireless from Sennheiser, which is a lav mic that I have clipped on right here. And in the uh, ATEM Pro, I have it in mic one. In the software, I can put some compression on there, and technically, you should be hearing me just fine. Is that a hedgehog in Henning's pants, or is he just happy to see us? <sighs> the hedgehogs are at Leslie's, and they're gonna need food soon. But Leslie can do that. Um, what, what? Sonia, what did Jonathan say that had to be uh, well, Jonathan probably said some stuff about butt things. Uh, wait, how do I see what Jonathan said? Does it have an ass wipe? That's, Sonia, it's okay. You can, um, you can let Jonathan say whatever he wants. He's a nice guy. He's deranged, but he's a nice guy. <laughs> um, so, 300 bucks if you want to do basic stuff and you already have software on your computer and all that, that's amazing. But the new one is insane. But I want you to understand that it's not that easy to just put this on the table and go ahead and do a live stream. Because what you don't see right now, right? No one's seen it so far, is the stuff we have behind the scenes. We're talking about four cameras. Each camera needs to be connected with an HDMI cable to the switcher. Uh, that's cable nightmare then each camera has to have power, because if you're on a battery, that's a bad idea. Um, then the switcher needs to be connected with USB to a hard drive, it needs to be connected with Ethernet to the network, and then there's a laptop, and to see everything, there's a big screen. Now, the big screen is nice, but Robin sees that. So I don't see what Robin's doing, but I'm a control freak, I need to see what Robin's doing. So I'm running the whole signal through an Atomos screen, in my direction, so I see what is happening as well. Um, and when you want longer cable runs, into the group of 100 people that I don't know why you're here, how long can an HDMI cable be before it doesn't work anymore? Be how long can it be if you really want to depend on it? Where's my cucumber? Can you grab my cucumber, Tonio? Can you catch? I can catch my cucumber. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. <laughs> it rauscht, sagt der Bobby. That's possible. Mm. It's really noisy. Grundrauschen. Well, that's very possible because, I mean, we're using this, you know, laugh mic, and it's compressed, and we're boosting it. So, absolute, I have to check that later. We're testing things out. Um, usually an HDMI cable can only be about five meters before it really doesn't make sense anymore. So is there really a point to have a switcher if the cameras can be a maximum 
of it, it's not even five meters because you want to run it safely down the table leg and then over. If a camera can be three to four meters maximum away from it, what kind of setup can you have? We're going to talk about. Hey, Kiko. Yeah, Stefan, 10 meters, but black magic stuff is very finicky when it comes to the signal. If the signal isn't absolutely perfect, you're going to get a black screen. I've had these problems. So you, I really wouldn't go with a 10 meter cable, especially if you're talking about one like these, for example. We use these at uh, Gear Street. They're nice, but we have problems of them uh, failing. So you have this micro HDMI and that actually makes it even more complicated because it's not a great connection. This is about the length three meters that I would trust and with 4k even then I wouldn't. With HD I probably would. Um, but if you have these micro uh, connectors which cameras usually use micro or mini um, then you have a problem. So the way to fix that is you go with this short cable into a little box which converts it to SDI. And SDI cables can be up to 100 meters long, not a problem. And you run that right to your switcher where you have another little box which converts it from SDI to HDMI. Which means, Antonio and Robin, we talked about this, you need to figure in about another 200 bucks per camera if you want longer cable runs. Like the camera right there that just went online, um, uh, is a Blackmagic uh, Pocket Cinema camera, which is amazing to work with this because you can actually completely remote control it. It's got a little tally light on it, and I can see that it's on. It's um, it's great, but it's you know it's not the cheapest camera. That is right, like 30 centimeters behind the switcher. You can run it straight in there. But any camera uh, that is long that has to be further away from the switcher, you should have um, you should have a little converter box to run longer cable runs. So let's go through the setup and I'll show you the switch. Actually, before we do this, in terms of audio, right now I said you, you're listening to the laugh mic. Uh, Robin switched to the shotgun mic. Now you should hear me through the uh, Sennheiser shotgun. That is connected to the Blackmagic camera with XLR. The Blackmagic camera has phantom power for it, so we can make it so that I'm using the camera's input, XLR, with that mic and have that mic on continuously. And then you have a shotgun on it, so you could actually do it so that every time you switch to a camera, that camera's microphone is active. It's all possible, this is a really, really uh, a complex system. That shotgun mic isn't going to do much if I move around. If I'm standing up now, then uh, you're going to hear me faintly in the room. So Robin can actually switch again to the other mic. And all of a sudden you're hearing the mic that's on me again. So we're going to go and um, look at the switcher, which means we show Robin. Now the video went icky. Wait, wait. No, 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 it's all good. No, now we're fine. So you can see right here, with Tonya zooming in. Wait. Wait for it, wait for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's another section. So this is pretty much as far as the other one went. And here we have a record section. And we're recording the whole thing to this disc. Yeah, that's very noisy. But that's probably because, you know, we need more light. Um, and here we have the live stream section, so you can literally turn the stream on right there. If in the software you've defined it, and you can actually see in the software there's an on air, there's an on air, there's a record, which is amazing. That is just so cool that it can do that. Um, then here in this section, you can actually find what you see on the screen. On the uh, normal one on the ATEM Mini, you can only see this. Yeah, Robin needs, uh, Tonio needs to come, come around. When I come around. Thank you. That's there you go. Okay, so um, you can only see the program out. 
which is if I'm switching, well, now you can't see it. <laughs> um, you can only see the program out. Um, actually, let me see if I can do that on. That's the main thing. Uh, let, me, let me figure this out. We're going to do camera four in the corner. We're going to make them, we're going to make that bigger. Here we go. So, um, you can go on, this, on the screen again. Oh, yeah, show this. That's good. So, if I'm switching around, uh -huh. uh, I did. Why didn't it? Wait. It turns it. It turns it off. Yeah, but there's a setting to actually keep that. Damn it! I don't know how. Um, oh wait. Here we go. Wait, am I stupid? Yeah. Next transition. Don't do the key. But if I just switch, it turns it off. So if I'm doing, why, 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 why can't I? Ah, because I'm not doing transitions. See, if I do this, it stays. Ah, okay, if I do a straight cut, it doesn't stay. Uh, but I think there is a way to set that up. Okay, so um, main point is that this screen can show the program. It can show any of the cameras, which, of course, you can't see right now. Oh, no, actually, you can. Um, or it can show the multi-view. Off. Um, but the multi-view is great, so zoom in on that a little bit. We can see the four different cameras. We can see the pre preview and the program. Uh, we can see media player, which we, have, don't, ha we don't have anything loaded. We can see the on-air, how long we've been on-air, the data stream, everything's fine. We can see the recording to the hard drive right here. And we can see all the audio levels. That is so freaking awesome. You have a full control station here. Um, and you can even, if I wanted to, um, if I wanted to uh, zoom in, on something to like uh, uh, focus on it, I can actually see the whole camera, set it up, and that's good. No idea why we're so noisy there. I literally don't know. Um, let's see if we can fix that. I don't know. Let me see. Um, so we're gonna go not full auto. Um, let me figure this out, people. You can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we're here. We don't have full auto. Oh, off. Auto game control off. Oh, there you go. Ah, see, it's doing the auto game, that's why. That's ah, very dark now. Just a little bit. I don't know. What I'm doing, a zoom rocker, iris, auto. Uh. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Nope. Yeah, that's still too dark. I don't know. Why is it? Yeah, I'm already in 25. That's... I think we're going to go on auto. Yeah, it's noisy, but we also really are in a pretty damn dark room. What can we do? Nothing. We'll keep that. Good then. So, you can do all that stuff. Um, you can do more with, with the software. But the most amazing thing is that I'm recording this whole thing right here. I'm streaming with this thing directly through the Ethernet. Um, it's mind blowing, and this is like you know six hundred something bucks. Uh, but as you can see, this is not all you need. So I'm going to see if you have any questions, and then we're going to go through what we're using and the other stuff you need. Let's see what you people are saying. Is there an ND? Ah, ha, 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 ha. You are very clever, my man. Let me see. ND filter. Uh, 
Let me see. Uh, give me uh, uh, where do I see what filter is on? Where? Oh, here we go. ND minus. That's very. That's a very good point. So how how noisy is it now? Less. A lot less. Not at not at all. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's uh, wait. ND quarter. Wait. There, I can. Ah, here we go. And the off. Still not there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, now it's off. Sure. Yeah, um, thank you. That's, uh, th thank you. Uh, that's because I filmed uh, Rafa outside. <laughs> I filmed Rafael outside in the freaking okay. bright sun. Um, who was that? Murray. You are the man. So, okay. We're, we're, we're good now. Of course, if you have the ND filter to go in bright sunlight against a bright wall, then obviously it's got to boost, you know? Well, like a nice shoe boost cream on shoe pastry, if you know what I mean. Uh, Mary, you're the man. Wouldn't have thought of that. Mm. Because I never used the ND filter. So yeah, now we filmed this really stupidly. But you know what? At least for the video that... Uh, we were gonna make that's better now. So, um, those pesky ND filters. That's that's true. Uh, bracket them one. Um, so yeah, technically it's a simple setup, but it actually took me half the day to set up because you have to figure in that if you're doing this, um, you don't want to rely on batteries. So you do need uh, what's the battery on that Canon saying? Oh, that's good. Um, you, uh, you want the cameras to be on power. You want the cameras to be wired up. You have to have that. And all that stuff, and you want to take care of audio, and all that stuff needs to be, you know, stashed away so the ca you don't trip over cables. This is technically a beautiful, simple setup, but it isn't all you need. You need the cameras. You need power supplies for them. You need... I would say, if you want longer cable runs, the little converter boxes. So technically, for every camera you have, to have the freedom of having them in any position you want, think about 200 bucks extra. It's about 70 bucks per converter. You need one on each side, and then the uh, HDMI cables and the SDI cables. Uh, so if Tonio goes and mans the massive camera now manually, no, just take, take, it, off, take it off. Take it off your big thing. Tonio's thing is massive. He's taking it off now. Slip out. Okay, so I give you a little two. I made it so that we actually have the most um, varied camera setup. You think, oh, you know, I need the big ass cameras, and it's it's nice. Um, it is very highly recommended to use the Blackmagic cinema camera or the pocket cinema camera, which is this right here. The benefit of this is, um, when connected with uh, HDMI, Robin can actually completely remote control this. He can remote control... That's the ice man. That's the ice cream truck. But, but I want ice cream. Man, damn live stream! I want ice cream! Fine. Let's do a hip-hop song like that. <laughs> so, um... They made it so that stuff plays really well with each other. So he can control the white balance, the exposure, the shutter, uh, full color control, and uh, uh, focus as well. So that's absolutely amazing. And come over here. When he goes to that camera, oh wait, we can't see that. <laughs> we can't see it. That light, well, they can't see that, Robin, because now we're on the wrong camera. Uh, that light goes red, so I actually see when this is the active camera. Um, so using the Blackmagic uh, uh, Pocket Cinema camera is a good idea. It clocks in at like, what, 13, how much is it, Tonio? 1300? 1300, 1200. Yeah, something like that. Um, of course, you can do many, many other things with it. Uh, and, oh, we have to talk about something. You can set it up when you record to the external hard drive to record on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinemas as well 
which is great. So if you had four of those, you hit record on all the cameras, then all those cameras are recording in parallel. So that later, what you've shot, you always have individual angles to go to. Problem is, it goes to uh, Blackmagic RAW only. I can't do ProRes, I can't do anything which is asinine. I can't change that setting um, and Blackmagic RAW just takes way too much data. I don't want that. So Blackmagic, please fix that. Um, but the great thing with this camera, as you can see, I have the shotgun from Sennheiser here which are wired in uh, with... Um, oh, you can see the tally light in the picture-in-picture. Picture. Ah, Robin did picture-in-picture. Picture. Tally light. Um, so I have this wired in here, but again, having this, this mic, that's another grand. Yeah, of course, you don't need the mic this good, but still, you know, you have to know. Um, then I have this external monitor here. You can use, of course, the Blackmagic uh, Video Assist, which I have several of. Uh, this is an Atomos going in, and I just channel uh, the output through so Robin can see it, I can see it, and I can kind of follow along with what he's doing. And from where I'm sitting, I can see the different angles. Um, the other camera is this one. That's a Blackmagic studio camera. And I just wanted to try that. Uh, it's going out SDI. The camera's hooked up anyway. It's going out SDI, going on the, on the ground there. Yep. Don't don't trip over your SDI cable. Nope. It's going over here. And it's going into this little box, which converts it from SDI to HDMI. And that goes up into the switcher. Uh, Tonio's camera. <laughs> That's it. Hmm. Oh, oh, wait. Tonio's camera. Is Can you do a switch between me and him? <laughs> have, have you in picture and picture both? Okay, so <laughs> Tonio's camera uh, is a Canon XF 705. That is very, very, very likely not a camera you would use together uh, with an inexpensive switcher. Uh, hold that sideways, Tonio. That way, it doesn't matter because this is a camera for about seven grand. Um, it doesn't make an awful lot of sense. It does 4K. We can only do HD with the with the switcher, but it has a direct SDI out, and so I wanted to try that. So if you go back to that camera, Robin, please, um, that's going through the SDI cable that's hooked up to the camera. Uh, under the stairs, so that <laughs> we have some anchor for the cable, and it's going again into the bidirectional. SDI to HDMI, and then HDMI, we have this cable running into the switcher. So two of the cameras are actually using SDI connections, which means Tonio has the ability to run around the room. You couldn't do this with an HDMI cable because it would simply be too short. Um, and I use this to illustrate something, because look at this, look at this tiny thing. This is a Sony RMX, uh, it's a Sony, um, it's a Sony something. Um, DM, Sony DM RM, oh, RX104. It's a great little camera um, with a Tice lens, but I have it hooked up, as you can see here, with HDMI. It's a shorter cable, but that's going directly into the switcher. And this is the power. So I'm powering, I'm actually powering it with a power bank, which uh, will be on for days, I think. It still hasn't lost a dot. So you can do this with a little pocket cam. Not a problem at all. Uh, they will do, um, you know, they can zoom, they can uh, autofocus. So if you have something like this, absolutely possible, but put it on a power bank and remember that the HDMI cable if we follow this, right here, you know, I have it attached. So how far can I possibly move this away from, from the switcher? Well, right now it's about a meter 50, or not two meters. It, you can't have this far away. So if you're thinking about a live switching setup for your band, for a stage performance, if you're thinking about a live switching setup for um, a theater performance, my friend Jan von Dries from uh, Orion Effector uh, is doing theater live streams. You can't run HDMI. It just doesn't make sense. Um, so, uh, the, okay, we got, we got the four cameras. We talked about audio. 
having this Sennheiser system is kick-ass. Um, you could even have, a, have, have two inputs. If you're doing anything, I'm like, why is he filming my crotch? But he's, you're filming the system. Thank you, Tonio. Um, and there's, there's the receiver right here. That's going straight in there. And I love the fact that it has, uh, we can actually show this, come over here. And we show the, um, the audio. It's the only Blackmagic system, other than uh, the, I think the 4K Studio, or whatever, um, that has a full audio mixer from Fairlight, actually. And I have compression here. You can see when I'm talking. Duck, 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 duck. You know, this is great. You even have EQs if you wanted that. Um, this is a really, really cool feature. The only thing that's really missing is we can't monitor the audio, right? There's no headphone out on there. We could with the headphone out of the MacBook and watching the stream with 30 second delay. Yeah, that's great. Um, I could, let me see, does this have a headphone out? What is this? Hello? Let me see if that works. Um, if I have like a, a, a monitor like this, that should have audio and I should be able to plug in there. But I mean, that's the monitors as much as the switches, so you can't, they can't say, ah, oh, you have to have a... It, it sh really should have a headphone out on it. Um, let me see. Hello? Hello? Oh, yeah, that, that works. I can, I can, of course, hear what's happening there. But I'm someone who has a, a little bit more video gear than this. Um, for me, to set this up, I literally didn't have to take any cameras down. This is all spare stuff I have sitting around. Um, but for the, for the guy that wants to do a live stream setup, 300 bucks or 650 for the, for the pro, that is amazing. But please remember, you're gonna have to add mics, stands, cables, uh, SDI to HDMI, HDMI to SDI, um, uh, maybe an extra monitor where you're uh, with eight, uh, like a TV where you see the multi view. Um, it, there is a, a Rattenschwanz, as we say in Germany, a rat tail of investments that you're going to have to do. Bobby, there will be an explanation about Kiana in a bit. There's a video coming that says, like, where, where has Kiana been? And we talk about that. No spoilers. Let's see what people are saying here. How long did it take to set up the shoot? Well, the fact that uh, that uh, I haven't worked with the uh, uh, 80 Mini Pro to set up the actual physical stuff uh, was by myself in the morning. <laughs> Two three hours, but I have I was fighting with the um, the hardware a bit because it wasn't connecting to YouTube. Um, I had to do some updates and stuff like this. So realistically, this whole setup took me let's say three hours. Now that's not something you want to do every time you do a live stream. If you do a four camera live stream, then uh, you might want to have this actually set up somewhere. Now of course for me it's a little bit easier because I have lighting in here that already you know works. Uh, one of the cameras, the one that I'm looking in right now, uh, is always set up. Uh, I have crates of cables that I can just go and grab by cable type. Beautiful wipe, Robin. Um, so realistically, for me, this is a little bit easier. Um, the light that's right there is always standing there, you know? Oh, don't forget about lighting. So if you want to get into live streaming, Awesome, but don't forget that you might have to add more than the 650 bucks. I think realistically we're looking at, guys, what do you think? Mm. Well, if, you do, if you don't have anything and you want to do, let's say a three camera setup, what do you think? What kind of camera? What kind of camera, Robin asks. Um, I mean, if DSLR. I would... Uh, if, DSLR? If, DSLR? If I would get cameras, that would be... Probably 3K for the bodies, for three bodies alone. But the thing is, for a live stream in 1080, 
it's not 100% necessary. Realistically, that little Sony with all auto, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to do a live stream as a band or as an artist or as a, uh, a visual artist or whatever, that little Sony does a good job. Everything auto, and that's actually already a kick-ass camera. Now they're already, this is version four, I think they're up to eight. And version eight is like 1100 bucks for that little thing. If you go for an older version, especially when we're talking about HD, where 4K is necessary, if you, if you buy the three or the four, one of those will cost you 500 bucks. You could also go for a Panasonic G7, which is also about four, five. Alpha 6000, I don't know. Yeah, a Sony Alpha 6000. Those are amazing cameras. You don't necessarily even need that. You could you could go for a video cam. Um, be aware that if you mix in cameras, you will mix qualities. If you go to the studio camera right there, look how deep that picture is. I mean, it's still showing me, sorry, but um, that is clearly a different level of image. The camera's about 1600, the lens is 150. It's a cheap lens. Um, now, go to the to Deutonio. Now, that camera can do a billion things. It has ridiculous zoom and autofocus capability. Zoom, zoom in on this all the way. And bam, it should, it should stay, it should stay autofocus no matter how far he zooms in. Um, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. So if you have to have someone on a camera, you know, that's someone who, who actually would want something like this, but that's more expensive. If you're looking at a cheap setup, go for like the little Sony pocket cams, that's totally fine. But again... You will spend you, around 3,000. Well, you'll spend about 500 for those, so that's 1,500, plus 650 for the switcher, plus cables, plus... An, well, you only need an HD computer monitor. Or any TV you have. So let's say let's say 200, no, 150 for that. Mm, yeah. That's fine. 150 for that, plus the cables. Uh, realistically, we're looking and plus some stands, plus a mic. That mic's about 250. Converters, cables. Uh, power. You're looking at 2,500 with a conservative. Yeah, <laughs> Robin's pointing at the light. Um, that light is 1,200 bucks without the stand. You can get halfway decent light for two, three hundred. Yeah, years. you can get, realistically, let's say overall, if you have nothing, you're looking at three grand. With audio, assuming you have a computer. Um, the great thing about the ATEM Mini and the ATEM Mini Pro is they do format conversion, which means you can pump in any format, SD, whatever, it doesn't matter, and it converts it to the format that you have set up, which in our case is 1080p, 20, uh, 20, 1080p 25 frames. Um, but the great thing is, and that's what we're going to try at Gear Street, if we can do Gear Street, I'm not saying anything. Um, you can hook up your iPad. I just, I don't have an adapter, but I'm going to get the uh, USB-C to uh, HDMI adapter. And then we can actually, you can actually uh, use an iPad uh, and do like a Skype call with someone and actually show the whole screen. Um, and probably also the audio, I would assume. So imagine how cool that is to do a Skype call. You don't have to do the whole Zoom shit and all that stuff. We do this with real cameras. I got someone right here on Skype, which we, we could put them picture in picture in the corner. A lot easier, I mean, because I don't know all these StreamYard things and all those things that people use for that stuff. Um, I think Blackmagic has broken ridiculous ground with the Mini Pro. Record on it or on an external hard drive, um, stream right from it, uh, remote control of the Blackmagic cameras, realistically, that's the shit. That's what you would get. You would get four of those Blackmagic cinema cameras, have complete remote control. You don't have to run around the room. You can change them uh, uh, remotely. That's, that's really the way to go. Uh, so you're looking at four eight. You're looking at about a six thousand euro setup. Well, then again, that's not for someone doing a hobby thing at home. But if you have a running channel and you do crochet work, or you work on model cars or something like this, three cameras are probably fine. Uh, set it up around the table. All of a sudden, your setup isn't that bad anymore because you don't need the long cable runs. You know, if you're doing. Hmm, if you have a cooking show. Cooking. 
wide angle, two, two close angles, you could get away with only HDMI cables. So it really depends on what you do. Um, I love the fact that with the uh, SDI conversion, we can actually use the big ass uh, Canon cam and have Tony run around and that enables us to actually not need 20 cameras for the shoot because we were able to show everything around the room. Um, so that, that's technically the live stream about the ATEM Mini Pro live stream capability something. Wait, I bitched about the that it only can do Black Magic Raw? That must be a mistake. It's so cool if I had, I would actually get more of these cameras for these things and then you hit record on all and, and all cameras start recording and you have that footage later. And you probably, if I'm not mistaken, have that in 4K. Right? Not if you go ProRes. No, yes you would. The, the, H recording. the recording. The, oh, okay, the, recording. The, HD the HDMI out is only HD, which is asinine black magic, okay? Um, but you could do a live stream in HD with the HDMI out, yeah. and all the cameras would be recording, and later you can take that footage and actually do a full 4K edit of it. Um, which is if you're doing, let's say, a symposium. You know, you're doing a live stream, people can see from wherever they are, you know, all socially distanced, but you can do a full edit of that later in super high res. So uh, this is really killer, but I want to warn everyone to think that, oh, this thing is only 600 bucks, I go get that. It will absolutely lead to, you have to get audio into it, you have to get video signal to it, you need lighting. Um, this is all stuff that you have to consider. Um, Go, um, if you can, Tonya, go up there and try to show the whole setup so people get an idea of what I'm looking at. Right. I wonder if anyone's still listening because these people are here for guitars. Three cams is what should be all you need. Well, Ty, technically, yeah, but also I work with 10 and I sometimes think I wish I had another one. That should work, right? Yeah. So now you can see what, um, what I'm looking at. Uh, I'm looking at the little screen. There's the main cam. There's one, there's one right there in the corner. Um, and then, it, I mean, the best thing would be to have a Robin, which I don't know how much that is. I mean, apparently 20 bucks. Um, because otherwise, get this. Everything would have to be in front of me and I'm switching the whole thing myself, which is kind of breaking the whole fourth barrier. Is that what they say, you know? Because if you're sitting here switching yourself, that doesn't really feel like a TV show. It feels like, I'm, you know, why is the guy always doing this in front of him? Plus, imagine this, all that crap would be on the table in front of me. Um, so technically you need a Robin or a Batman. Uh, um, um, to sit there and do the switching for you. I mean, I'm lucky that I have, uh, you know, a girlfriend that does that reluctantly. But this is what you're looking at to do a decent live stream with decent quality, decent audio, uh, you know, light and all that stuff. So, fourth wall, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Three cameras and screen capture. Yes, Mo, that's a good idea. Screen capture. Um, you can easily wire in... Uh, uh, an HDMI out from your Mac or whatever into the system, um, or of course uh, an iPad, I think in, in most cases uh, doing drawing stuff, an iPad would be great. Um, so that's all fully doable, but again, it's not, it's not super plug and play. It's not like, yeah, oh, uh, plug in your computer and it works. It took us quite a while to figure out how to actually do the stream directly because it wasn't doing it through the computer. Blackmagic, please fix that. Um, any? Oh, thank you, Bobby. He said you could talk about club up here and I would listen. What's a stalker view right here? 
Amanda, you're a stalker anyway. Every view that you have is a stalker view. Uh, I've got two thousand dollars in tripod in there. Well, Ty knows how much the Sachtler is, so yeah. So the Sachtler only is fifteen hundred, and that one's about three hundred. And then the uh, uh, then the triad orbit that the main cam is on is, yeah. He 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 added that up roughly correctly. It's about two thousand bucks in tripods, which of course you don't need. You just need girls in bikinis holding the cameras, like Tonio. Tonio's actually wearing a bikini. <laughs> um, affordable 4K cam, please. Uh, Brizzly Adams. Um, what does affordable mean? What does affordable mean? Give me a give me a budget. I would immediately say uh, a G7. Yeah. How much? How much is that nowadays? I mean, I mean, for the body and then the lens. Hmm? About 400 for the body and then the lens. Is it? I mean, it was 470 a while ago. Uh, is it Lumix or Panasonic? Doesn't really. It's the same thing, but with a different label. G G seventy or G seven is. I think it's the same thing, right? G seventy is Europe. G seven is America. Okay. Doesn't go down in price. So with the lens, we're looking at five eleven. And lens is everything. So if you're getting the uh, the stock lens, it's not amazing. Uh, the best, let me see if we use it. Under a thousand. Okay. Um, wait. Where's Brizzly? Brizzly is not answering. Um, the, welche, welche Währung denn? Thousand dollars? I don't know. The, the, uh, Raul, Raul said that. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Jonathan Linton says 399 at Otto, Otto Katalog. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay, Tonio. Um, so it's 511. If you know what you're shooting, don't get the zoom lens because with the Panasonic lenses, or also what we call the micro four thirds, um, that's the way to connect it. Uh, to get a zoom lens that is decent, you have to go to 900 bucks. No. Yes. Sigma 18 to 100. That's way under 900 bucks, and it's totally fine. So what, 18 to? 18 to 135. Uh, what's the f-stop? Um, 1.8. 1.8? No. Uh, is that the art lens? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, yep, okay, well, that could be good. But they're not... Mm, but they're around that. They're also around 8, 8, 900. Yeah. Um, Seven, 700 to 8. Yeah, so you want to make sure that uh, it's a continuous f-stop. Is that continuous? Always 1.8? I can't imagine that. Um, because the problem is, I have this uh, 12 to 35 from Panasonic, which is, I have two of those, which is a great lens, um, and that's a continuous 2.8. So it doesn't matter how much you zoom in, it's always 2.8 f-stop, and it, it lets in as much light as it, as it can. Whereas um, the 12 to 60, which is also about 900. Um, I've got two of those. Uh, that's my, my pedal cam. Uh, great and nice zoom up to 60 millimeters, but the more you zoom in, the darker it gets. And that can get annoying. Uh, so 1.8 is nice for the, the, the Sigma art lenses. I heard they're very good, but how much is that? Can I come in? Yeah, of course you can come in. That's 682. Oh wait, N N Nikon, let's see, we want Sigma, nope, Pentax, Canon, Sony. Yeah, you will need um, a speed booster. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, no, I don't want to have a booster thing. No! Yeah. I want MFT. See, that's why, you take a stupid lens. Um, the, the, my point is, your best bet is knowing what you're shooting and getting the lens for that position. Um, no zoom lens will look as good as a prime. If you look at that thing over there, that lens is, I don't know, it's dirt ass cheap. Uh, 60, let me see. Um, MFT, 60 millimeter. 
that's a little Olympus, 240 bucks. And that's got an uh, f uh, uh, 1.8 or something, it's, it's really bright. Um, and it looks really good, okay, that's, that's a great lens. Um, and uh, I've got a few of these. I try to use prime lenses. Uh, I've got uh, Panasonic 20s. The 20 is really cheap, it's also around 200 something. Uh, the 25 is really cheap. Um, I have a 15, which is more expensive. But as soon as you get into Zoom, you have to spend more money. Hope that explains things. Oh wait, Bridgley said, between 500 and 1,000 with 4K. Um, Sony 6300. Yeah. 60, or, or the 6500. 6300, careful, because uh, Sony has an overheating problem. The 6200 no, had that. With the 5100? 5, no, no. No, the, I had the 6200 and it was a real problem. Um, if you have a few hundred bucks more, get the 6400 that has, has no overheating issue and uh, Probably the best features of all of them. Oh, this one has a flip around screen. Yeah. Yeah, that's, I would say that's the one. 6400 is the best one, but it's 1.2K, I think. So. The 6400, no. With the lens, 973. Oh, nice. Really? The last time I looked, the body alone was 900, so. So that's actually really good. Uh, Brizzy, what do you want to do? Do you also want to do, um, wait. Uh, there's a new, did you guys see that? There's a new um, vlogging cam that Sony has. Really? Nope. It's got, a, it's got a flip around screen. It's got an improved shotgun mic on it. it. Actually on top has a little shotgun mic with a with a cat on it. But not from the A series. No, uh, and it's, it comes with a stick, so it, like a kind of selfie stick. <laughs> it, it's for vlogging where you need that. Um, uh, what's it called? Anyone please look that up. Sony, I think it's called the AV? Uh, ZV1? ZV, yeah, yeah, ZV1. Yeah, that's 900 bucks with the stick. Oh, with the stick, yeah. Use your cell phone. Mm, because the thing is, this is, this is, I really, I'm, I'm, I'm close to actually buying this just for shits and giggles because I need more cameras, we all know that. Um, uh, this is, uh, wait, this is, uh, yeah, it's, first of all, a Bluetooth handset, if you have to film yourself, is pretty damn awesome being able to hold it and control the camera. It's got a screen that flips around the corner, which finally Sony gets it. And it has a, an improved shotgun mic that sits on the camera. Um, I wonder what else it has, if, if, if it's got a record limit and stuff like this. Um, Euro probably. I don't know. But this is a, a, it's a fixed lens. But you know what? That isn't necessarily a problem because that little camera is kick-ass. Um, oh, you can't get it anyway because it's sold out. But that's not a bad idea. But what do you want to do? That's a big question. If you want to go travel, do vlogs, uh, f film, you know, be mobile, that's a good idea. Also, it's small. It's small and having good audio built in. Mm -hmm. Um, you can still get like a, a laugh system, but most cameras just you don't want to trust the audio at all. Um, so let's see what he says. <laughs> what do you do? Vielen Dank, he says. Uh, we're talking about the ZV1 Brizzly. Ch check this out. Um, it's brand new and. Um, Oh, apparently I broke Leslie's internet. Probably because you stole her ethernet cable? Nope. Um, okay, I guess we're here, we're done here anyway. Um, and you guys want to play with my noodle, right? Is that your dog, right? Yeah, yeah it's my dog, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we want to play with your noodle. 
and, and with my dog. You want to play with Noodle and my dog. Okay, I get that. Um, yes, of course, Ty, it's got a zoom lens. Um, it's $900 in the, in the US. Thanks, Sonia. Um, I, the thing is, nothing I have is a kick-ass vlogging camera. Everything I have is cumbersome. It's a pain in the ass. It doesn't have a flipper. Like my, I, I, I of course love my, my A7 III. Insane picture, but no flipper on screen. If I take that to Guitar Summit, as I did, you have to have an extra screen. Um, and so on, and all these problems. So I think the ZV-1, if the quality is halfway decent, could be the way to go. Um, so now I gotta go and fix Leslie's internet, which I broke by taking a cable that technically should have nothing to do with it. Um, and we should really make a little video that's not a live stream, explaining these things again and maybe, you know, doing it better. Uh, sorry guys for doing live streams that teased you. There was never supposed to be one. I was just testing things and apparently I'm an idiot. But that's nothing new. Everyone knows that. Um, I'm going to say animals at the end, but there's no cat. There's not this. Mm. Mm. You guys, are you guys animals? Yeah, you guys go right here. You guys, you guys go. Animals at the end right here. You guys go and sit right there. And I, I switch to the, I to wait, I switch, an animal. I switch to this mic. Now they can hear you. <laughs> like, buy each other's merch. Uh, I cut my hair, but I don't like it. <laughs> but it feels so good. Mm. Oh. Go away now. <laughs>